Welcome back, Odoers. Today, we're going to be talking about event tracks, what they are, how to manage them, and how to create them. Now, when we say tracks, that's essentially a catch-all term for talks, lectures, demos, presentations, and things of that nature that'll happen during an event. With Odoo events, tracks can easily be managed, scheduled, and created in no time at all. So let's jump into our database to see just how easy all of that is to do with Odoo. Let's go. All right, so let's kick things off in the main dashboard of our events app. Now, in order to even have the opportunity to work with event tracks, we'll need to enable a very important setting first. So let's head to configuration, then to settings, and check out what the configuration is for the events app. Here, we'll need to make sure that we have the schedule and track setting enabled, just like this. Once the checkbox is ticked, these two additional options appear, live broadcast and event gamification. You'll see that we already have those enabled, but they aren't required to use tracks. They simply just offer additional features that you may find useful. The live broadcast feature allows us to air our tracks online via YouTube integration, and the event gamification feature allows us to create and share quizzes that can be shared with attendees once the track is over. We'll talk more about those in a little bit. So with the necessary settings enabled here, don't forget to hit save before moving on. All right, with all those settings locked in, you'll notice that there's a tracks option here in the header menu. This is only available because we are currently in developer mode and have the schedule and tracks setting activated. If you're not familiar with how to get in developer mode, be sure to check out our documentation on that, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on the tracks option here to see what this is all about. That takes us to the event tracks page, which shows us all of the tracks for all of the events in our database. As you'll notice, this information is displayed in our default Kanban view, with each stage representing a different location where those tracks are scheduled to be held. Like almost every page in Odoo, this information can be filtered, grouped, or viewed in a number of different ways. In each stage, there are individual track cards with all sorts of pertinent information readily available to view. Clicking into any of these cards reveals the track form that is specific for this particular track, where its details can be viewed and modified if necessary. I could also go ahead and create a new track here by selecting new and filling out the track form. But right now, let's check out what a event specific track page looks like, shall we? To do so, let's go ahead and click on the events button here. And let's select any random event. How about design fair Los Angeles? To access the tracks related to the specific event, we'll go ahead and click on the Tracks Smart button at the top. The Tracks dashboard has a similar default Kanban view, but here each stage represents a different status. We have the proposal, confirmed, announced, and published stages. And there are also two stages that are folded by default, which are the refused and canceled stages. You notice the same collection of track information that we saw on the main tracks page is present on these track cards as well. Now, let's go ahead and click on new to create a new track for the specific event. On the blank card that appears, let's give this track name a title, something like inspiring business talk. Sounds good, right? Then for this, we can go ahead and select a track date and I'll choose a date that falls within the parameter of the event. In this case, that's any day throughout the rest of August. So we could put the 27th. We can also modify the time down here as well, but let's go ahead and leave that as is and just click apply. Next, we'll choose theater as the location and we'll keep the duration of 30 minutes, although it could be changed to any amount of time if needed. Now, because we have the live broadcast feature enabled, we can also add a YouTube video link here. But since this will be held in person, we can leave this field blank for now. Then we have the option to make this particular track always wishlisted. When we tick that checkbox, that means this track will be set as a favorite for each attendee by default. Next, we can choose the person responsible for this track. By default, the user who created the track form is selected but any of your employees could be chosen from this drop-down menu if needed. Then we can ensure that this track is related to the correct event in the event field here. We can also add any necessary tags, which would not only show up in the back end for our internal users for the added organization, but it would also show up for the front end for event attendees to get a quick idea of what they may expect during this particular track. 
So let's add some tags here. We can add consumers and research. As you can see, multiple tags can be added here as well. Then for some additional organizational aspects, you can choose the desi designated a agenda color for this track, which I can go ahead and choose as blue. But as you can imagine, this is not required. We also have the option to add the corresponding image to this track, but we'll leave this blank for now. Below those fields, we have the speaker, description, and interactivity tabs. So let's take a look at each one of those. In the speaker tab here, we can add the contact details and speaker bio information for the person conducting this talk. If this person isn't already in our database, we'd have to manually input this information in the respective fields. However, if a contact is already in the database, like our speaker Brandon Freeman, we can select them and you'll see the fields auto populate, which saves us a bunch of time. With that locked in, let's hop into the description tab. Here in the description tab, we can add a brief description to the talk to let our attendees know what to expect. For instance, let's go ahead and add a brief description like this talk will cover everything you need to know. All right, this looks good. Now, let's jump to the interactivity tab. Here, we'll find only one field, which is the magic button checkbox. When this is enabled, a custom call to action button is displayed to our attendees while they view this track. This is mainly useful for streaming or broadcast tracks. So for this example, if this talk was something you're streaming via a YouTube link, it, cover, it can cover something like how to start a free trial, then we tick this and we can go ahead and fill in the other fields that appear. We'd give this button a title like start your trial today, and then we can add the corresponding URL to the specific related call to action. And then in the show button here, we can add a specific number of minutes after the track starts for this magic button to appear. Pretty cool, right? But since the particular talk is in person, we'll untick this checkbox for now. All right, so with all the fields and tabs filled out, we can scroll back to the top and take a look at our add a quiz button. This button is only here because we have the event gamification setting enabled. If we click it, a blank quiz form appears here. And we can give the quiz a track related title and create a number of track related questions to not only test the knowledge of the event attendees, but also gauge the effectiveness of the track itself. We can even allow attendees to take this multiple times if we'd like. Once everything is ready, this quiz would appear to the track attendees at the end of the talk. The creation of questions is exactly the same as the survey's application, so be sure to check that tutorial out to learn more. I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the description below. But for now, let's go ahead and skip back to the quiz and hop to our track form. Here are the breadcrumbs, of course. Back on the forum, let's say that we haven't only confirmed the talk with the speaker, but we've already announced it to our attendees. Now it's time to publish it, so let's go ahead and click the publish aspect of the status bar to indicate that. You'll notice when we click publish on the status bar, the go to website button changes from red unpublished to the green publish, just like that. And if we go ahead and click on the smart button to go to the website, we'll see how the track details appear to the event attendees on the front end of our website. Here they can see all the pertinent information related to the specific track that we just configured. Like every other event track, this one can be accessed via the Talks Event website subheader menu option. And there you have it, Odoers. You now know how to enable the proper settings, features, and elements to plan and schedule event tracks. And you know how to properly manage and create tracks for any event in your database. Super easy, right? That's all for now, Odoers, and I'll see you in the next video.